This is the National Weather Service in Elko, bringing you a weather briefing for the first major winter storm of the season currently entering the region, which will affect northern and central Nevada on Monday and Tuesday. For northern Nevada, there is moderate to high confidence that many places will be impacted. Be prepared for a winter storm with snow several inches in some higher terrain. Travel will be impacted even on some lower elevation highways. For central Nevada, confidence is moderate that some valley places will be impacted. Make preparations in case the predicted storm worsens. Mostly higher terrain will be impacted, especially highways over summits and passes. This is Sunday's satellite imagery of the water vapor plume pointed at Nevada from the Central Pacific. This is the fuel feeding our storm system. A cold front system is forming and strengthening from northern California to southern Canada, draped across the northern Great Basin. As the front slides south, cold air will filter in, eventually turning precipitation to snow. Here is the latest surface forecast for Monday morning. A low pressure center moves to southern Nevada and helps the moisture to focus from there north toward the Idaho border. This is the surface forecast for Monday evening. As the low persists in southern Nevada, cold air moves into the state, turning the rain to snow. The complicated frontal system will act as a focusing mechanism for enhanced precipitation. This will also tend to turn winds from the north and northwest, which will enhance snowfall on north and northwest facing slopes. And here is the latest surface forecast for Tuesday morning. The low moves to northern Utah, and while cold air still filters into Nevada, the focus for heavy precipitation is moving out, so things will start to weaken a bit. As the storm progresses, it will affect different areas differently. The various hazard products here are partly due to the uncertainty of the storm's strength and timing. It is expected to impact northern Elko County and the Ruby East Humboldt complex first with the most snow. As it moves south, it will affect the lower elevations of Elko County and also northern Lander and Eureka counties with less snow and faster movement. Finally, as it moves into central and eastern Nevada, impacts are still expected, but there is more uncertainty there due to model differences and the models being slightly different than current reality. Precipitation will start as rain Sunday afternoon, then turn to snow from west to east as the storm moves across the state. Highest snow amounts will be in mountain areas of northern and eastern Nevada. Snow showers will continue into Wednesday morning across eastern Nevada. Winds on Monday afternoon will gust in eastern and central Nevada to over 35 miles an hour. Around Great Basin National Park, winds could gust over 40 miles an hour. On Tuesday afternoon, the strongest winds will be in northeast Nevada, where they will gust to over 30 miles an hour. Winds at these speeds will cause some blowing snow and reduced visibility. In addition, wind chills will be raw. If you have to go out, be prepared for very inconvenient conditions. These are the highways which are expected to be impacted during the storm on Monday and Tuesday. U.S. Highways 93, 50, and 6 in eastern and central Nevada are likely to have travel impacts, as well as Interstate 80 in eastern Elko County. Passes and summits will see the greatest impact. Most state routes in the eastern half of the state will also be impacted. Remember, just because minor impacts are shown in spots doesn't mean that certain locations won't be worse than others. Always know your route and plan ahead. This is the first storm of the season, so make sure to review your winter driving safety tips so you don't get caught unprepared. In summary, the season's first winter storm will move into northern Nevada Sunday afternoon with minor impacts. Major travel routes should be okay. As the storm develops and moves south and east, northern Elko County will see major impacts, then Southern Elko County and Northern Lander and Eureka counties will have minor impacts, but summits and passes will have winter conditions. Finally, Southern Lander and Eureka, White Pine, and Northeast Nye counties have the most uncertainty, and so a watch is in effect there. 
we will keep an eye on changes and encourage you to do so as well. The storm will move east starting Tuesday and snows will diminish through Wednesday. This has been a web briefing on the potential impacts and hazards of an upcoming winter storm from the National Weather Service in Elko, Nevada. For the latest weather watches, warnings, and advisories, please visit our website at www.weather.gov forward slant Elko. And thank you for listening.